Tony Owls, Bomber and Luna have just welcomed their first chick. And there are more still to hatch. See how this experienced pair care for their young and protect them from danger. As they grow from tiny hatchlings to strong owlets nearly ready to leave the nest. It's the 6th of April and this tawny owl chick has just hatched. Its mother, Luna, arrives and carefully tucks the tiny owlet under her feathers. This is a huge moment for Luna. For the past two years, her own eggs failed to hatch. Thankfully, her loss had a silver lining as she fostered six rescued chicks. Now, I'm delighted she has a hatchling of her own. The chicks use so much energy breaking out of the egg. It now needs food. Now she has a chick to care for, Luna will rarely leave the nest. So it's her mate, Bomber's role, to bring in food for the family. Only an hour after the chick hatched, he arrives with a rat. The pair call to one another as he drops off his catch. The chick calls out too. And Bomber stops to listen. But Luna soon sends him off to find the next meal. Bomber's first meeting with his chick will have to wait. Luna begins tearing the meal into small mouthfuls and takes the first for herself. She'll need to keep up her strength to care for her chick. She moves the rat into the perfect position and offers a morsel to the hatchling and it's extraordinary to watch its first ever feed. A rat like this one should last a few meals. But Luna's not taking any chances. She calls out for more food. And Bomber's not resting on his laurels. He's back with another meal for them, an even larger rat. Saving food for later like this is known as caching, and tawny owls have been recorded caching as many as 20 prey items. This way, the family are less likely to go hungry. Over the following days, Luna and Bomber work hard to care for their chick. Luna broods the owlet to keep it warm. For the next 10 days, she'll barely leave it. And Bomber's doing a great job, providing for the family from dusk till dawn. But this isn't his only role. 
When he's not hunting, he spends his days roosting in the nearby trees. So when jackdaws arrive at the nest, he's around to protect his family. Bomber's at least 10 years old, but he's still fighting fit. He's such a dedicated partner. With such caring parents, the chick is growing well. And now the first owlet has hatched, the other should soon follow. The eggs were laid about 65 hours apart, and as they're incubated straight away, they should hatch at similar intervals. So I'm keeping a close eye out for signs of the next egg hatching. But when the second and third eggs are overdue, it becomes clear they won't hatch. Luna's only hope for another chick of her own lies with the fourth egg. Five days after the first chick arrived, Luna starts to shuffle. She looks beneath her feathers and soon reveals another chick as she tucks the hatchling underneath her. Just a brief glimpse before Luna's brooding again. She's so protective of her young. But that night when Luna leaves the nest, I get a good look at the two chicks. It's clear to see the size difference between them. The unhatched eggs will remain in the nest now, as tawny owls can't remove them. Luna's not away for long. And looks so proud as she settles back in to brood. Bomber arrives shortly after, delivering the new hatchling's first meal. It's an unusual catch, a pair of frog's legs. But the chicks seem enthusiastic about this gourmet treat. And as Bomber sets off again, Luna gets to work feeding. It's now nearly a week since the first chick hatched, and two days since the second. But Bomber still hasn't had a chance to meet his owlets. He's a dedicated father, but caring for the chicks is Luna's role, and she's so protective. One night, Bomber calls from outside the nest. And Luna heads out to investigate, leaving the chicks alone. Bomber takes his chance. The owlets call out as he heads inside. And Bomber hoots to greet them. Luna could be back at any moment, so he wastes no time gently preening the chicks. He listens carefully for Luna's return. He doesn't want to be caught in the act. A pheasant alarm calls outside, alerting him.
It's time to go. Bomber calls out to his mate as he leaves. And Luna swiftly returns. Tucking the chicks under her feathers and shuffling down to ensure they're warm. Day by day, the chicks are becoming more characterful. We decide to name them Rocket and Nova, but we won't know if they're male or female unless they return to have families of their own. Eldest chick Rocket is now 10 days old and much more active. As Luna takes a break at the entrance, Rocket even allopreens younger sibling Nova. Luna's soon back in, preening both chicks too. Rocket's getting more mobile, starting to stand, and showing off pin feathers developing along its wing. By two weeks old, Rocket's eyes are open, and it bobs its head, taking in the nest for the first time. Rocket is soon confident on its feet, and seems more aware of its surroundings. And as it reaches 16 days old, it even does its first wing flap. Later on, younger chick Nova follows suit, stretching its tiny wings too. And when Rocket stands and stretches, Luna seems so proud of her growing owlets. It's now late April and both chicks are looking so well. Rocket's five days older than Nova and is clearly much bigger. The Nova is developing well too. And at 15 days old, its eyes are now open. Nova's standing too. But it needs to watch out for Rocket's wing flaps. Now the chicks are older, Luna can leave them alone for longer periods. They're big enough to stay warm on their own. And Rocket never wastes a chance for more flapping. Luna's soon back with a meal for the owlets. She's caught a yellow hammer. Both chicks have a healthy appetite as Luna feeds. And Rocket swallows the rest whole. The end of April brings seasonal showers. 
Rocket and Nova are becoming more adventurous. Rocket hops up to the tunnel for the first time. While Luna guards the entrance. But it's not ready to venture outside just yet. They're getting more energetic too, hopping around the nest as they practice hunting. Youngest chick Nova shows off his mischievous side, digging at the nest floor and nearly burying the unhatched eggs. Now about three weeks old, they've both grown so much. It won't be long until they're ready to leave the nest. But before that, there's a very exciting development for this tawny family. So I've had a new arrival brought in, and this is a young tawny owl. Look at that. So this owl that was found in Elvington, and the actual branch where it was nesting broke away. Unfortunately, its sibling didn't survive, but this one was found luckily. So we're gonna call this one Solar. So this little guy's ready to go in a wild nest just down the valley there. And that's with Luna, female tawny owl who last year raised six chicks, and none of which were hers. So I'm sure this little guy will be fine down there. I'll just give it one last feed and then it's ready to go in the nest. Look at that, a mouse going down hole. <laughs> so before we put it in the nest, we're gonna fit it with an ID ring. So I'm just gonna go and get Gene Thorpe. Right then, Jean, we've got Let's a... Let's have a look uh, at this youth. Yeah, little Tony. Jean's a bird ringer, licensed by the British Trust for Ornithology. Are we having a ring on yet? Now, which leg are we putting it on? Yeah, we're going right leg for this one, so we can tell them apart. Jean carefully fits a lightweight metal ring, perfectly sized to fit the outlet for life. Ringing doesn't hurt the chick in any way. Each ring has a unique combination of letters and numbers, so the birds can be identified in the future. Well, she made a really good job last year, didn't she? She did, yeah. And none of them were Six. hers, were they? Six. <laughs> I mean, it was just wonderful how it worked, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Are we going to weigh him then? I think we ought to weigh him, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Feels good there to me, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got a big fat tummy at him. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a fat tummy between their legs, you know, they're doing all right, don't you? This information will be sent on to a national database, helping us understand tawny owls better. Yep. So has it got a name, this one? Yeah, it's called Solar. Like the sun, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when this owl was found, it had its eyes closed. So it's never actually seen one of its own kind before. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how it gets on with some new foster siblings. So that's the ring on this one. So I'm gonna head up to Beach Stump now and get the other two, and we're gonna get some rings on those as well. I've checked the cameras, and Luna is out of the nest, perched up in a tree nearby. So that's the ladder set. But with tawny owls, it's really important to take some precautions, because these are one of the few owls in England that will actually attack sometimes. So I'll pop the hat on, and a visor to protect my eyes. Have you got them? Yeah, well, these two are a bit bigger. Are they? A lot? No, they'll be all right. Uh, but they'll be out soon, these two. I think this is the big one. I think this is Rocket. Rocket? Yeah. Well, there Rocket, we you're a fabulous looking thing. Yeah. So this one's 26 days old. Is he? Yeah. Oh, my God. So this can obviously be out well, any time from now, really. Off. There we 
go. 410. 410? Yeah. So this one's 360. 360, yeah. You yeah, can't really nice. tell sex at this age, can you? No, no. Sometimes, you know, the males are smaller than the females. Yeah, a bit like it's that's just age like, as well, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, that's age. Yeah. Three days yeah. apart sometimes, it can make a lot of difference. Right, next one. So this is a younger owl, and this yeah. one's called Nova. Very nice. Yeah. Right, let's get a ring on this one. Nova, you're a bit of a wriggle puff. Yeah, it's a nice tight joint. Alright, let's get away in, shall we? There we go. I don't want your mum to be missing you too much, do we? Right, so we'll see what these two look like together. So this is obviously Nova, we've just put a ring on. And then we've got Rocket, a few days apart. And now it's time to introduce them to their new foster sibling, Sola. Here we go, a noisy little one. So this one's obviously had special treatment because it's much younger and quite heavy, isn't it? Look at that. Get them all three together. Yeah, you you've never seen an owl before, have you? Right, we've just got to hope these three get on. We've done this many times before, introducing the Different owl into another clutch, and I'm sure it's going to work. With ringing complete, it's time to get them back into the nest as quickly as possible. That's the whole process done in less than half an hour. We've just got to hope these guys get on now. Throughout the process, Luna has been perched nearby, keeping watch. And it's now time before she's back to care for her brood and meet her new foster chick. As she enters the nest, she takes it all in her stride, grabbing a vole she's cached and get into work feeding all three owlets. Owls only have simple counting abilities, so Luna seems to have no idea she's gained a chick. She's accepted Solar immediately. I'll be keeping a close eye on them, and it's going to be fantastic to see how they get on. In the next film, watch as Rocket, Nova and Solar prepare to fledge. And one by one, take to the wing. I follow their lives outside the nest. And Bomber and Luna take on more rescued outlets. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.